Today on the Transplant Helper, we answer the simple question, what is an aloe map? How does it differ from typical biopsy procedures and is it any better? Stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome to Transplant Helper today. My name is Jim Merle. I'm oftentimes asked the question, Jim, what exactly is the Allomap test? Now, if you're not familiar with the Allomap test, it's basically a test that was put out by a company known as CareDX, and it is a test that can potentially even one day replace altogether the typical biopsies that you might receive as a heart transplant patient. Now, if you've ever been a part of a heart cast slash biopsy, you know how stressful those things can be and, and basically really how dangerous they can be at times because of heart perforations and other things that can come up, clots that are thrown sometimes during those heart cast slash biopsies, it's not typically something that we enjoy. However, it is a necessary part of life to this point. But in some cases and in some plan transplant centers, they're beginning to replace some of those heart biopsies basically with the Allomap test. And the Allomap test is a simple blood draw. They can draw it from your arm, from different areas of your body, but it's basically a simple blood draw that is in turn sent out to this company in California at this point. There may be others developing the technology, but it's the main one right now. But it's sent out to a company in California in which they then test it over about a one-day period and find these 20-some-odd genetic markers that are just predictors of whether or not your body is in acute cellular rejection or again basic rejection now is it perfect no i've seen many people who've commented on it when it's been discussed on different facebook groups as well as other type of uh, discussion type scenarios who have said you know what it said i had rejection and i didn't or i didn't and i did you know that sort of thing but nonetheless it's it's a first ditch effort if you will to try to avoid the biopsies now as far as the alamap goes again a simple blood draw they send it out there they test it over about a one day period typically on the second day they get back with your doctor give them the results and they in turn give you the results and if they decide that it needs to be addressed they might make a simple medication change if they find small uh, amounts of cellular rejection such as an R0 to an R1 which typically they wouldn't necessarily even treat however if they see something that seems to be a little bit more acute or seems to be a little bit more severe like an R2 or an R3 even then they're going to jump in and probably go ahead and do the biopsy anyway now in some extents and to some standards I would rather have the biopsy slash the heart cath because especially for my annuals I want all the information they can possibly get things that they would get by going in and doing those casts that they would not get by a simple blood test but for those things that come in between you know whether you have one every six months or in early stage of transplant every week or every month you know I think the Alamount is going to potentially be and already is a pretty good replacement for that so in the end of things Things. Would I have an Alamap if it was offered? Yeah, I think I would. Just to avoid being in the cath lab, to avoid some of the stress and especially some of the discomfort that comes from that and especially the recovery, yeah, it's definitely a plus. But when it all draws up to it, it's still a technology that I think needs to be advanced just a little bit more. Again, I would I would promote it, and I am, uh, but at the same time, that's all it is. It's a blood draw that predicts acute cellular rejection. Now, I hope this has answered your question in some form. If it has, how about go ahead and like, subscribe, and share, and certainly comment below. Are you a participant in the Alamat program? If so, what are your experiences thus far? I'd love to hear about them, but until next time, stay stronger, friends.